Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we will be discussing about how to create an ontology using Protege. If you want to know more about web ontology language, check out my previous video on web ontology language. I'll add a link in the description below. Don't forget to check the timestamps in the description to know more about the different sections. Stay tuned. You are watching the Artificial Intelligence in Data Science channel. Subscribe for more amazing video. So this is Protege, an open software for getting started with ontologies. If you want a link to download the software, I'll add the link in the description below. The version which I'm going to use for this tutorial is AWP 5.5. To check that you can go to help, about and check your version over here. Now we are going to build an ontology about school. So for that I give the name over here. School and then I go to file, save and I'll be saving it in turtle syntax. Okay. And cool 2out save so this is my ontology to give a description i'm going to annotations comment language english so i can give my description over here this is an ontology about cool so this is given so when i open this ontology this gives an information that this ontology is about school. Let's create some classes for our ontology school. For that, we head over to the classes tab and under class hierarchy tab, you will find a class thing. The thing will be the class of all classes. So we add the class school as a subclass of thing. School and then we add students and staff as subclass of thing. students and staff as a class of thing to rearrange this i want to make the staff as a class of thing so i just click and drag to make it all a subclass of thing now if i want to add some more subclasses for that like junior students and senior students i can just click on student create subclass junior create sibling for that senior so I can create my classes like this or I can use the tools class hierarchy option to create a class hierarchy. For that let me delete this first. Okay, I click on thing, I'll go to tools, create class hierarchy, this will open up this window and I'm just going to copy this over here. So I have a class hierarchy and continue. I'm not making it disjoint and finish. So there you have it, your class hierarchy already in the window. Now let's declare the staff and the students to be disjoint from one another. For that you click student, go to disjoint with and click staff. So when you go to staff, you can see that it already has selected this turn with student option. To rename a class variable, what we can do is right click on the class which you want to rename, then select change IRI name and you can enter the name you want. I am making this GOVT. If you want to see the full IRI, you can just click on this option to see the full IRI. Okay, that is done. Now if you want to add a comment for this, you can say go to annotations we can define the comment i'm going to select language english and say this class denotes school okay and the comment will be available now if i want to define an equivalent class what i'm going to do is select the class which i want to make it equal for example i'm making the administrative and maintenance as an equivalent class so i'm selecting administrative equivalent to maintenance okay so administrative will be equivalent to the maintenance class to check this you can go to maintenance class and there the equivalent to will be assigned to administrative now if you want to visualize your ontology you can go to our visualization option 
and you can see your ontology over there in case if this is not working if it is appearing as a small clutter thing over here this means that always package is not installed so you need to install always to see the visualization properly a good practice would be to run the reasoner why we run the reasoner is to make sure that the ontology what we are doing is in a proper manner or in other words it is consistent to start the reasoner you can go to reasoner start reasoner and here you can see that the ontologies which we defined are in proper way when we select the reasoner make sure to select the hermit t reasoner now that we understood classes let's move on to object properties object properties define the relation between classes to define an object property we can click the top object property add a new sub property and we will say admins to show that school admits students we can give a description and the annotation language english school admits students now here we have to define the domain and the range now school admits student is a property so the domain will be school and our range will be student let's add some more properties such as employees to indicate the school employee staff we'll create a sibling employees we we'll give a description employee staff okay the domain will be school and the range will be staff let's create another one teachers to show that the teacher teaches a subject domain will be teacher and range will be subject let's add one more student learns a subject so learns is an object property we'll add the description the domain will be student and our range will be subject student learns a subject now that we define object properties let's define some data properties data properties are used to link classes to literals such as strings integers and so on to define the data property we'll click the top data property add sub classes and we'll add staff id student id joined on and teach to show a specific subject okay now joined on is to indicate the student joined on a particular day so for that we give the domain as student and the range as a day time format day time the student id the domain will be student and the range will be a string staff id the domain will be staff and the range will be string 
teach the domain will be teacher and the range will be a string to indicate that the teacher teaches a specific subject now to remove or edit something you can just click on the red icon to remove and the o icon to edit if you want to give an annotation you can go to select the required data property go to annotation and comment it and then we synchronize all good let's now define some individuals to do that we go to the individuals by class option we'll define a rick who is a student for that we go to direct instances student is selected and we add a rick so now a rick is added as a student Let's give him a joining date and a student ID. For that, we go to property student ID. Type should be string, which is the same which we define in the data property tab. And we'll give him a joining date. This was the date time stamp. So we gave a joining date and a student ID for Rick. Now let's add an in instance of the school. So we go to school, direct instance of school, instance of school, and then we add the instance international school. And we can say that the school admits Rick. the admits click you can use control and space to auto complete the names and you can see that the school now admits rick let's add a teacher tony for that we go to teacher direct instance tony okay now tony teaches rick so object property association teachers rick the tony teachers rick now we'll show that tony is an employee of international school so we go to international school object property associations employees tony We will synchronize it. Synchronize this now. We will give Tony a subject. Tony will teach. Science. Tony will teach science. synchronize and we'll add a new staff called nat now we'll give nat a same individual as tony same individual as tony then when we click synchronize regional we can see that the properties of tony are inferred into nat because we synchronize now remember that we had said that staff and student were disjoint classes so what if instead of nat we say it is the same individual as a rick this is disjoint so this will throw up an error see it shows up an error to remove that i remove rick and again
stop and start synchronizer and we are good to go so that's it for this video thank you for watching and hope you got an idea on how to create an ontology using protege if you like what you watch please leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more amazing videos see you in the next video